Little wins, right? Yeah. I did it, and there's Tom. Secret play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Well, hello everybody. This is Dave from Retired Time Productions. And it's a new year. It's 2016. Isn't that wonderful? So I wish everyone a happy new year. The Christmas tree here is still up. We haven't taken it down yet. But there's no more presents to open, unfortunately. Or so I thought. But a box came in the mail. Now, I had pre-ordered this, oh, I'd say like three months ago, from a guy named Chris Click. I met Chris Click at the Stone Blue Airlines event. And uh, that was in Virginia, in Wise County, the Stone Blue Airlines event. And he was there pitching his drag. Well, I pre-ordered one. And it had been like three months, and I'd kind of given up hope. I figured, well, maybe there was no drag at all. Because I heard that uh, he was trying to fund it, and the funding didn't work out. He didn't meet his goal. I heard uh, rumors about that, that the drag project was over. But lo and behold, it wasn't. And I got a belated Christmas present in the mail to myself. So here it is right here. So, you know, I, I don't usually do box openings. But since it's already in a box, and uh, I didn't know what it looked like. I'd seen the ones that weren't molded, the prototypes, but I'd never seen a molded one. This one's supposed to be molded, so let's take a look. And maybe you don't even know what a drag is, so that's a, this is a chance to find out. So I'm going to get the wings out of the box. Actually, this one's already unwrapped, so I'll just get this one out. This is the fuselage right here. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty big. I'm having trouble getting it in the frame, but there it is. It's some pretty nice material. It's EPP foam, but it's coated with some special stuff that gives it kind of a gray finish. I don't know if you can see this, but it's very slick, kind of shiny almost. Gives it a really nice look. And then it has a piece of foam, looks like in here, a plug. It's just a plug that was filling the hole right there, and I guess you put a cover over this. We'll get to that in a minute. I don't want to take too much time, but in case you don't know what a DRAC really is, uh, I'll try to I'll try to sort of show you. Get back here. So the wings go on like that. So uh, you know I can't get it all in the frame, but you get the idea. Wings kind of go like in that. I'll put, I'll put it together and put it on the floor here in a minute, or at least lay the pieces together. But, you know, that's one wing there. So it's sort of swept forward. And so I'll start at the bottom here and just move up like that. So that's basic design right there. And there's plenty of room in that cavity to fit lots of gear if you want to. I don't know if I'll ever get to fly it with all these new FAA restrictions and stuff. But uh, I just had to have the kit. Here's some extra pieces here. And, hey, cool. So here's some of that uh, core plast. And there, I guess, is the cover that goes on the top. And that red, I bet, is going to look good with the gray. So, hey, it almost has sort of a stone blue airlines theme going on here. Uh, we'll see what happens. And, uh, let's see, oh yeah, looks like laminating film. These things, which I think are the elevons, and they got a groove to put in uh, some reinforcement right there, like some carbon fiber. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it comes with the control rods and control horns and they look like they have these adjustable clevises. All looks good there. What the heck is that thing? Okay, post under the video. What the heck is that thing? I don't know. I haven't looked at the instructions. Maybe it's a hat. Yeah, hey pilgrim. Anyway. Oh, it's got some serious carbon fiber down in here. Yeah, look at the thickness of that rod right there. That must be the main wing spar. And then there's a bunch of other spars and whatnot in there. And there's a shorter wing spar. So two wing spars. Okay, let's just kind of lay it out and we'll see what it looks like. 
So this is basically it. This is the layout right here and you can see what it looks like. It looks like something maybe from Star Trek, some kind of warship or something. Uh, and that's all the parts that came with it. I didn't get the power system. There is a power system available for it. But I opted out of that. And I'm not sure which one of these things, if any, is the motor mount. Maybe this is a motor mount. I don't know doesn't even look like a motor mount. Perhaps it goes on the front. Maybe it's some kind of skid blade that goes on the front. I don't know. Like I say, you guys can guess on that one. And then there's much more parts right here. What are they? That looks like aerodynamic. Maybe that's a little fin to augment it somehow. But I'll have to look into it and uh, find the instructions. I'm sure there's probably a manual online. But that's it for now. I just wanted to show it to you, give you a sneak preview of what the kit looks like. Post grip, I think I found the motor mount. There it is right there, and it's a slick looking thing. Looks like all aluminum and adjustable. Very nice motor mount. And then there's all of these things here. I have no... it looks like these are the things you put furniture together with. I have no idea what they are. You can post under the video if you want what that is too. And what this is. So thanks to Right Wing and Chris Click for getting that to me. And everybody just have a happy time in the new year. And enjoy all that wonderful flying. We'll see you later. Take care, bye.